Hello viewers, today we're going to show you the Elicar ring flash equipment. It comes in a little box like this and inside, we'll unbox it, is the case which you can hang over your shoulder. Inside the case is the equipment. The flash is here, the flash, what you call the power pack. There's the flash, lead, flash leads and the actual ring flash itself. This is a lead for those who don't have a camera with a hot shoe. And it plugs in the rear of the flash here, marked um, PC, there we are, plugs in there. But I'm going to use a camera with a hot shoe today so we don't need that. The power pack has some instructions here about um, if you're doing close-up photography how you have to set your lens differently for, for ex extension because you lose light as you're extending your lens. There's two automatic settings which is coloured red which you put onto the flash tube. One is red here and for 100 ASA which I'm going to use, you use F16 if you set the flash tube to blue, you, you use F8. I'm going to use um, 100 ASA and we're going to have the little setting here, not on the blue or the M for manual, we're going to have it on the red setting which is 100 ASA and it will give me an aperture of F16. You we'll plug in the flash lead the correct way round here like that. I'm going to use my Pentax K10D which is set up with a 105mm screw thread Pentax lens with the extension tubes here so that I can do close up photography. You don't use these ring flashes at a long distance, they're not powerful enough. The camera is set to 100 ISO there and the white balance is set to, to flash there that's okay the shutter speed I set on the dial here is the red X setting which is the maximum flash synchronizing speed of 180th and you can see it coming up here 180th now we set the aperture F16 on the ring here against the little red index point here. We open the lens to fully automatic setting here for focusing, that goes to 2.8. But we must remember to close it down to what you call a manual setting here when you take the photograph. It goes a bit dark, but at least you get the right exposure. So we slide the flash power pack into the hot shoe. Do it gently because it's only plastic. We slide that in there. Gently do up the knob. We screw on the ring flash in a clockwise position onto this 49mm lens which is mostly these old Takuma lenses, they're all 49mm. If you don't have a lens with 49mm, you can get a ring flash adapter at the back for other sizes. So don't panic if you don't have a 49 you can get 52 if you like. That's ready now. So we're going to take a photograph, a close up of this little Welsh doll, and with this setup, I can just about get her face. So we switch on everything and we switch on flash here and hopefully you'll see the red light come up there as if by magic folks. Now we use the lens full aperture for focusing. Get the glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. And we're gonna come back till it's in focus there, then we stop down and we take, take the snap. Now as I thought, it's a bit dark, 
because there's a quite a lot of extension on that lens and I'm not allowing for the extension of the lens so we'll take another one and when this time we'll allow for the extension of the lens try one whole stop more exposure and that should brighten it up so here we are focusing up and get the right stop down the lens it's now an f11 oh as if by magic we now have a brighter picture and that is quite good now and it's in sharp focus what well, it should be is a pen tax <laughs> well thanks folks i hope that was interesting a quick little demonstration in the time allowed of the ellie car ring flash thanks for watching